She's 100% deaf. She was owned by a young woman who loved her. But from what I was told by the rescue, the woman started dating a man who was abusive to Paloma, and this rescue was willing to take her. I had never had a differently abled dog, but I kept seeing her on Instagram, and I kept thinking, I'd love to get this dog. <laughs> Rocky became her guide dog. He immediately took on that job. He was lonely. At night, my daughter and I are gone quite a bit because she plays basketball. And we were finding that he would go and get our things to the front door and he would just snuggle with them. And he is not lonely anymore. We love to see him guide her and help her in everything we do. I do use a couple of signs with her, like dinner, um, when she sees that, uh-oh, she put her ears up like it's not dinner time. We used a few signs, but I will tell you, she looks to Rocky. He is more the person that gives her the sign. It's clear that he knows she needs a little more help. Everything we do, he tries to help her. Let's say they're outside around the corner and I'm trying to get them. Obviously, she doesn't have recall because she's dead. Just call him, he lets her know, and he brings her in. They thought you were getting a treat. Treat? With treats, he looks to make sure she comes to get her treat. Hey. We have a basket full of toys, and obviously most of them were Roros before she came. And he is not a huge toy person, but when she goes to take his toys, then he gets interested. She's saying, play with me, and then he plays with her. He is like the big brother that will do anything little sister wants. They both get along with other dogs, but there have been a few times where there have been dogs we didn't know. He gets in the stance to protect her. She would probably like to go play, but he doesn't know the dog, so he's very much protective of her. Roro is just a darling dog. People were concerned when we adopted him. I actually had a note put in my mailbox that they did not want a pit bull to move to our neighborhood. And immediately, because he is such a good dog, we walk around the neighborhood and they see what a wonderful dog he is. He gets along with everyone and he takes his job very seriously. <laughs> Even this morning, I'm getting up a little earlier to be on this call. And so when I got up, she didn't hear me get up. I don't normally get up then. And he went to wake her up. His arms up and he nudged Paloma up. Paloma's just such a, I call her my pretty, pretty princess. It breaks my heart that she might have been treated poorly at some point. Her eyes look more like human eyes. She lives a very full, normal, typical dog life. To be a deaf dog, it has made me realize it's no big deal. She's gonna talk it over. <laughs> All these differently able dogs out there. There's deaf, there's blind, there's so many, and they can have a full, loving, wonderful home.